I have it written down. People know, like that have been there for several years, that he is supposed to be mortal, and that because that's one of the twelve blessings, as him who overcomes in Revelation, because that's who he's supposed to be. And that's exactly what you said. The workspace thing is it's it's huge because they take the verse in Romans where it talks, you know. At this point, Paul is kind of like casting a wide net, telling the Jews and the Gentiles, listen, you know, and where it says like you you get, you receive as what, according to what you've done essentially, but they mm -hmm. take that verse out. And a lot of other um, actually like people who've, you know, shared sermons on this, and they point out the fact that this can be used as spiritual abuse. Like Mike Ringer is one of them teaching through Romans. He was like, mm -hmm. they do because what, what, what Paul was trying to do there is say, so far you followed the law, and by your own doings, you have failed to do so. And that's why like chapter three is like, yeah. righteousness is only through Christ. Essentially right. like works does not equal like grace and grace does not equal works. Like he is very clear about that, but we mm -hmm. don't ever talk about that verse in SCJ. Mm -hmm. We would never touch that verse, but just that, that part where they want to like, kind of, you know, use it for their own, I guess, yeah. agenda is, is used. And to them context, how they define things is the biggest thing, right? Context is anything from gener Genesis to Revelation. So, I mean, anyone could go <laughs> with that and just create what they want yeah. to, which is what's happened. Because the leader himself, the leader of SCJ, like, Ali Man, he, he's been part of groups in the past. That's another thing most members don't know. This is not like the first time this group kind of has existed. It's a line of movement that has happened and that's why majority of the lessons that we have are very similar to places like world mission society of god and other high control groups that have come before him the olive tree movement as it's called because he's been part of all of these groups he's never truly had like a traditional the christian you know what you would consider it's always been through these groups and so he's kind of seen what works and what doesn't work right so now he can say things like he would never verbally say it, but he's described as the Messiah, the savior of this era. The word savior is used to describe this man, right? But he will never mm -hmm. say he's Christ. So it's kind of like he uses definitions of like Christ is a title that's given to only Jesus, right? And if you define it, it's like the anointed one. And he'll use de definitions, but never actually say he's yeah. Christ because that okay. would cause a problem, you know? Right. Yeah. So it's just the... He's not going to explicitly say, I am Jesus, but then everything he's saying is basically, hey, you need to think about me, basically worship me as as Christ himself. Right, because they don't even believe in the deity of Christ to begin with. They they almost think he's just, he was a perfect man. He, he was a uh -huh. messenger. He came, revealed the word and taught it, but they don't, you know, the whole trinity is not that's on they, they believe okay. in. They don't believe in the deity of Christ. And so when you've knocked, which is huge, right? That's like Christology yeah. 101, like right. Christ and who he is. And so when you've taken that out of who Christ is, the deity of Christ, then you can equate him to anyone. Mm -hmm. And he says like, you know, they, to, to him, it's, it's Jesus is back in spirit is what they believe through Lee Man He. And he's the one who gives these messages directly to the people as he hears them from God and he's seen how the revelation fulfills and all sorts of things. And so um, it's, he's very strategic in how he says things and how he presents them. Right. And, it, and how the leaders kind of cover that because th there are some trigger things that he could say that could really cause people to question. Right. So he would never, yeah, he'll never say things like um, I'm Christ even mm -hmm. though he will claim the definitions of what the word Christ, the title Christ means itself. That's where the critical thinking doesn't happen for a lot of people yeah. there. So, so yeah. did you say he does use the term Messiah to describe himself? Is that used? So okay, he does. That, he is that the is savior. Christ. There's, that is that's Christ. what <laughs> that means. So yeah, yeah, exactly. And the way they kind of go about it is they kind of like massage, like, what they're trying to get to during a sermon, right? And before yeah. he says that, I remember being extremely jarred at the word, like he's the savior in this era. And he was like, well, was Moses, did he save the people of Israel from, yes. 
So he would be considered a savior in that era. And I'm like, but none of these people are referenced as saviors in these eras. Like, yeah. that's the thing, right? Like, no, none of them are. No. No. So I'm like, it wouldn't make sense if you think you're now the messenger in this era, just like how Moses came and, you know, Noah, to, to, to then refer to yourself as a savior. Like, that's doesn't really no. make sense. But, yeah. That, yeah, that's, that's obviously pro problematic. And, I, I, yeah, I think you're right. I can't think of any place where, you know, Moses is referred to as, as being the savior of Israel. Yahweh is the savior of Israel. And, you know, Moses is his instrument to, you know, perform right. Yahweh's salvation. Right. Um, and so it's just, it's, you know, obviously these, these cults are, um, they like the power and, and they, they are more concerned with the, the power and the prestige and the, the control they can have way more than they are about actually looking at biblical context and being honest and um, having integrity in the way that they handle scripture. They just, that's not, that's of little to no concern um, oh, yeah. to them. Yeah. In addition to that, just like every other major organization, the leader is supposed to be immortal. So though they're not pushing that as much, but everyone knows that's been there at least five years, even four years. Really? No, this is a doctrine that is taught. And some branches, apparently, they don't say it as clearly. But to us, I have it written down. People know like that have been there for several years that he is supposed to be immortal. And that because that's one of the 12 blessings as him who overcomes in revelation because that's who he's supposed to be receives is he doesn't have to experience a second death and so people have asked questions mm -hmm. and when people are like oh but you know um he's like in his 90s he's aging and they're like how how dare you wish that on someone and i'm like well he's claiming something pretty um extreme if you ask me like you know of course mm -hmm. no one would want to wish death on anyone and that's not what we're no. doing People have the right to but ask. But the dude's right? gonna die. <laughs> exactly. And so I'm like, people are asking, hey, like he's aging like everyone else. Yeah. Like, you know, and so my yeah. question was always like, does he ever sin or does he not? And the reason why I asked that question is because they told us as members that recreation is a process we have to go through to be married to the martyrs that are in Revelation. That's when the 144,000 are like sealed. You then also, just as the 144,000, um, would also essentially not die. Um, but I had always asked if he's, this is exactly how they explained him, Jesus's return through a spiritual marriage between him and Jesus, the spirit is how they explained it. I was always like, how is a holy spirit like Christ? Like, you know, how, how could he be one with someone that would sin? Because obviously he must sin because he's aging just like the rest of us. That's evidence of the fact that death is inevitable for, for sinners, right? Who are like, mm -hmm. who've inherited that. And that question was never really addressed. Yeah. Um, I was actually told to ask that kind of stuff like in private and not in group settings because- Of course. Yeah, that would cause problems. And and it's just, it's so, it's it's wild. And so, and he, he's been asked publicly, oh, so what, what are your leaders gonna do when you're no longer on, you know, alive? And he's like, if, if God tells me to die, then I'll die was his answer. Which, as you mm. can see, is, yeah. So, and I don't know, he was revered. What a wise answer he gave. Like, it's just, it's just, yeah. So, it's it's a very interesting space to be, to be yeah. in, to see all those things and happen. Um, but I hope, I hope that um, more and more people can, can ask those questions and not be afraid to ask those questions. Because you should be allowed to ask questions. And you should be allowed to challenge it should be there should be a safety to where you know you can exit and come back right if that's a truly mm -hmm. healthy environment where you know you're not being told you're a betrayer or some evil yeah. spirit has possessed you when you leave um because that's not the cent the centrality of the gospel either and that's not mm -hmm. what's preached there so yeah and all this you know this hiding this fear tactics to you know, explicitly tell you not to, to research. I mean, the, all that just points to what a profound insecurity that must exist in this group to, to feel the need to, to be so concerned with what members find out. And, and, and 
if you're so concerned about people researching and just going and and doing an honest pursuit of what is true and, and looking at the information, if that scares you, well, then there's a, an issue there. You know, if you're yeah. the truth, uh, the the truth just it, the truth by nature, by definition, has nothing to hide. You know, the truth right. truth is right. light, and so so light. You know, you're not going to find darkness, hidden spots of darkness inside light. And so right. if you're concerned that that might be the case, then you are not the truth <laughs> and, yes. and you're, you're trying to hide something.